DTM reaching great heights at Spielberg. It was a breathtaking weekend in Austria, with races that were so thrilling that everyone left the circuit with their heads in a spin. The championship is still wide open, heading into the grand finale at Hockenheim, the field of title contenders closer together than it's been for a very long time. Sunday's race winner Thomas Prining still has a chance to win the title as well. Winning a race in DTM is, is a big honour and uh, to do it on home soil is unbelievable. It was a home race in Austria. A huge amount of fans came to watch their heroes. I think uh, there's not many events in Austria where we have more spectators than here at uh, DTM. Just Formula One I think is a little bit bigger but uh, motorsport is still quite high in the mind of the people. Over 60,000 fans came to Spielberg. It could well be a record. In the grandstands, it's quite something, even though it's only Saturday. Later, it'll get more packed, so it's going to be a cool race weekend. This is the driver that everybody is chasing, Sheldon van der Linde. And he has a full armada behind him. But it's not just the Austrians that are rooting for the local heroes. I always like it when somebody from the country where he happened to be wins as well. We're in Austria, in Spielberg, therefore I say that Lucas Auer wins today and perhaps van der Linde even retires. And then it gets really thrilling once again. And Lucas Auer delivered. Full attack was his motto. And it almost went wrong, almost too fast in the pit lane. But the time penalty was rescinded after another check. I wasn't over the limit, so I don't know what, what, what race control saw. And I think we are, everybody is checking at the moment. In the first race, Red Bull Ferrari driver Nick Cassidy took victory. The pressure on Sheldon van der Linde, still the points leader, gets more and more intense. Pressure's on, for sure. Um, it's not obviously the day I wanted, but I, yeah, I'll look ahead to tomorrow and um, it's very frustrating. When even the double Olympic gold medalist Marcel Herscher, a ski racer, comes to drive a car here, I think that says it all. The ski nation is a motorsport nation too and this is very cool indeed. Taxi driver Marcel Herscher made people very happy. You see it in Austria, it's quite big, interest is very big. Being allowed to drive such a car as a non-motor racing person is a huge honour, an opportunity that I was given today. Up in the sky, Red Bull aerobatic champion Matthias Dolderer really did test the limits of some influencers. I'll say it really honestly, I found it mega cool, but I would never do it again. <laughs> The DTM electric project is gaining more and more momentum. It's quite a lot of electric power. It has already 1,200 horsepower and um, it's electro horsepower, so it's really cool. The acceleration is great and um, to have a sound now as well um, gives you kind of more emotions. You know, DTM is in the luxury position that we can combine uh, combustion engines and electrification at the very same platform, which very little uh, race series have this uh, ability. Yeah, when you go off on the outside, it's like very slippery. It was like ice. I'm quite surprised about Thomas. I think he's come a long way from a long way back, and it just shows as well that if you have one good weekend, uh, everything is possible in DTM. A final showdown in Hockenheim, and then we'll know who'll take the crown in DTM. Yeah, yeah we see. I mean, now everything is possible, and but now I'm happy and really huge credits to the team for today. But this was brave and worked out.